Me want food, me is a man. Me is strong, me make demand. Spend all day sweat in the sun. Me want eat when work is done. In hunt, I am competitor. Me, the apex predator. Not gatherer, neither prey. No vegetables to eat this day. Hear my meal, spit and sizzle. Meat, muscle, bone, gristle. Only best allowed on my plate. For tonight, we feast on steak. What is steak? Steak is the most opinionated food item on the planet. Why do people care so much? Probably because steaks are generally expensive and slight variations in cooking techniques have drastic impacts on taste and texture. First, take your steak. Then, Dave, what type of steak, steak should, should we buy? buy? Look, there are a million tutorials out there that explain exactly what cuts of beef come from where and their culinary qualities. Go watch all of them, then come back. If you want my opinion, buy a cut of steak you can afford. Different cuts of steak are just cross sections of different cow muscles, so get whatever you want. Cooking techniques will have to be adjusted according to a variety of factors, but just get the ones that don't break the bank. You'll need to practice before you're any good anyway, and you will make mistakes. Like any hobby, you do not need top tier supplies or equipment when you're learning the ropes. I can afford this eye of round roast. It's a lower quality piece of meat, not even marketed as a steak, but if I cut a cross section, Look, it is transformed into a steak. And this way, I didn't have to pay the butcher a premium. Take your steak and salt generously. This salt is important not just to add flavor, but to begin the cooking process by denaturing the proteins. The salt begins breaking down the proteins, which results in a more tender steak that retains a bit more moisture. Now set aside for at least one day and up to three. But Dave, I'm hungry now. Look, steak is a treat. It's not healthy to be eating red meat constantly, so the times you can afford it, make sure you treat it right to get the full enjoyment. The next day, prep your ingredients, specifically dice some shallots, cube butter, and aerate a sprig of thyme. You'll want to have everything in place because steaks cook quick with the pan fry method. Dave, use, use the, the grill. grill. Look, cook your steaks however you want. Pan frying is the most accessible method. There's no special tools required and it produces a great product. So good that most major steakhouses use variations of the fry broil method. Coat the pan in a thin layer of neutral oil. This will allow all surfaces of the rough steak to cook at once, not just the peaks. Turn up the burner to a high heat and when the oil is shimmering, lay the steaks gently in the pan. Before we can continue cooking, we need to have a brief talk about <sighs> degrees of doneness. Medium rare. Right, right, right. We know what the standard is, but doneness is a quantitative measurement of the internal temperature of a piece of meat. For beef, 130 Fahrenheit is rare, 140 is medium rare, 150 is medium, and 160 is well done. If you're cooking and someone ever asks you for their steak well done, there's only one thing you should ever say to them. Coming right up, because they are a guest and etiquette demands that the host complies with requests. And more importantly, let me make this clear, taste is subjective. And really, who are you to dilute someone else's joy because hypothetically, you wouldn't like it. After a couple of minutes, flip the steak. The objective is to develop a deep brown crust on all sides. Keep flipping. But Dave, you should only flip, flip the steak once. once. Look, it doesn't matter. And that's not true. The goal is to get the internal temperature to a certain point. Multiple flips allows a much more even temperature distribution and moisture loss is more a factor of temperature rather than orientation. You don't precariously physically balance the water in the steak by not moving it. Not flipping to retain moisture is like driving naked to get better gas mileage. It's an insignificant action. Add the butter, thyme, and shallots and revel in the scent of your kitchen. Keep cooking and flipping so that all sides are coated and the internal temperature is 10 degrees less than what you're aiming for. Remove from heat and rest under foil for 10 minutes. But Dave. Uh, look, the hotter a piece of meat is, the less moisture it retains. The very edges of the steak are well over 200 Fahrenheit. The muscle fibers are tight and can't hold moisture. As the heat from the edge is distributed to the center and some to the surrounding air, the fibers relax and absorb back some of the liquid that would inevitably spill onto the plate if the steak was cut immediately out of the pan. But again, just do whatever you want. After resting, cut into your steak to see how you did. As you can see, this thicker steak took a bit longer to cook because of its size and it ended up being a touch over medium, while the thinner steak was removed earlier from the pan and is a touch over medium rare. The cross sections show a thin layer of browned border encasing a delicious moist pink center. Whip up a little pan sauce and serve with your prepared sides. Or just rip into it like a cave dweller. Good eating. So many interruptions from the eggheads. Disabling the comments might be a good idea. People really love their opinions about steak.